Today is Friday, January the 10th, and I made the plunge today, and I am in a position where I have SPY puts, a put vertical actually, and I expect the market to be in decline from here. The volume on the Dow, NASDAQ, and the S&P were all pretty good, um, but from about 10 o'clock on, after the week employment report for December, we dropped, had a slight pop in the afternoon, and then continued the slide. So this is going to take our stock, stock and the advancers to decliners were uh, 15 points apart. So that is going to take our oscillator back down to the zero line. And you can see now we have spent a whole week in this area here. I wish I could blow it up and show you all the different values. We, we've um, spent a whole week. Look at the headline here. VIX not confirming higher prices. Let's look at the VIX and let's see what happened with the so-called fear index. It's still down at an area of complacency. And that is when the predators in the stock market want to strike, when the market is complacent. Let's look at the S&P. S&P was looking like it was going to make a new high today and it finished off of that high down 10 points. Apple was up as much as almost $3 in the pre-market, finished up just 78 cents with a doji. Could this be a doji that signals some kind of reversal? Well, we will see on Monday. Um, Caterpillar down a dollar uh, 51, and that's not good for industrials. And the China deal is supposed to be signed next week. Not a good sign. Home Depot down a dollar 12, and um, is in the cloud now, as is the Chiku Span. So we're watching both of those, and we expect now Home Depot to be chugging along. And that's why I got out of Home Depot. I only made about $200 on the three call spreads that I had, but it was better than losing anything. So I am out of Home Depot, um, but I'm into the SPY. And what I did is I'm looking at this chart and I'm looking at the SPY support being at 315. So what I did is I bought the, um, what was it, February or March? I bought the March to give myself lots of time. I bought the March, 300 puts, but I sold the March 295 puts because that's where the 200 is. Or, sorry, I, yeah, I, let me say that again. I bought the 300 because that's where the 200 is, and I expect the 200 will be support as it was here and all of these other times here, except for this little blip back in July, May, May and June rather, where we fell below the 200. The 200 is a pretty good area of support or has been all throughout the year. So I'm playing that between now and the end of March, we're gonna fall through the 78.6, gonna fall through the 61.8, and we're gonna hit the 200 right at 300, and that's where my March puts are. But I don't think that we'll go as low as, um, maybe it was the 290s, I think it was the 290s that I, that I sold. I don't think we'll go as low as the 290s because that's going to be a 50% pullback from this uh, expansion Fibonacci. So that's what I'm doing there. Amazon, I am still in Amazon, although it started to show some weakness with the 12 SMI starting to drop and the 20 SMI starting to uh, plateau. It's still got some room to move. It still hasn't hit the um, over bot line. So it's still got some room to move. And this drop here might just be down to this level. Uh, and then we'll be coming into earnings and we could pop up again. So I'm still in with a few contracts on Amazon. So that's that. I am now committed to being um, pretty hedged on just about everything that I've got. Uh, short calls on my Caterpillar. Um, still have six contracts of Apple, 
but four of those contracts are now deep in the money. Um, so I'm ready for a pullback and I'm going to continue to add to my SPY positions as we drop. 